Naltrexone implants, naltrexone depot pellets, to be more precise, are the most popular form of heroin blockers nowadays. There are a few different kinds of. For example, Australian implants are for 6 or 12 months based on biopolymers when naltrexone molecules bind to biopolymers, slowly releasing the medication into the bloodstream of a patient, providing a long-term gradual protection of all opiate receptors. It is a slow-release naltrexone. Americans use magnesium stearate. Another important component of naltrexone implants is triamcinolone. It's a hormonal medicine, long-acting synthetic corticosteroid for treating inflammations, allergies, among others. Triamcinolone protects patients' body from allergic reactions, local inflammations, since the implants are foreign body. The quantity, naltrexone dosage, is very important contained in the implant. Depending on naltrexone dosages, an implant can have an effective length of 3, 5, 6, up to 12 months. It's a minor surgical intervention, very short, easy and simple. A patient lies down on a surgical bed and a small area on skin is prepared for the intervention. After the surgeon and patient had made a mutual decision regarding the spot of placement the implant, it can be in the lower abdomen area which is, for the most of patients, cosmetically acceptable, a belly button area where no stitches or scars are visible, shoulder or some other areas. Skin is prepared by antiseptic solution. Local anesthetic is given prior to making a minor incision up to 2 centimeters. Then, a special channel pocket is made where naltrexone implant is entered by a special syringe. It might be a tablet formed or cylindrical or small pellet depending on a manufacturer. It is placed on the skin in a very gentle and compact manner. Afterwards, two, sometimes three stitches are added under a sterile bandage. A few minutes later, a patient may stand up, say goodbye to the surgeon, and easily on his own two feet goes home. The follow-up procedure is to take care of the implant area and bandages, avoiding any mechanical effects or impacts, keeping the bandages dry and having them replaced on a regular basis. On the seventh day, the stitches may be taken off normally. A patient lives a normal life afterwards. The only thing is that pressuring the muscles around the implant area must be limited. For example, if the implant is placed under the abdomen skin, lifting heavy weight is restricted, as well as some intensive sports or other activities involving abdomen area. In such a manner, having that minor injection and subcautious implant placement once, one is protected for a couple of months. Very small naltrexone dosages are sufficient to provide a blockade. Clinical trials have proven that one nanogram of naltrexone to one milliliter of blood is efficient to provide naltrexone blockade.